these red tow hooks on my trail boss and I want to paint them green because I really go their green accents. So my plan at least is to sand these down and just get kind of a rough finish. Put a few coats on them. I don't know how many I want to do, but a couple coats, bonds. Um, I spent a little bit of time with some 220 on this one just to scuff it up. And then I wiped it down with some rubbing alcohol, but kind of give you an idea like, just this is really glossy, paint's not gonna stick to this. So you need to have some kind of scuffing and uh, 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 surface for that to adhere to. And then make sure you get all that grease and all that crap off and clean it really, really well with rubbing alcohol. Um, all right, I made up a makeshift paint booth. What I did was take these just paint caps and screwed them into my table, because it's a workbench, I don't care. And then I just jammed these down in there. And I really don't care if the bottom of it really gets painted or whatever, but I should be able to spray an access kind of around it um, and then rotate them if I need to. So I figure that was kind of cool. I see people hanging their stuff up in the garage and I just feel like I get overspray all over my nice epoxy floor and I'd rather avoid that. Anyways, I'm gonna uh, read the instructions and figure out how many coats to hit on these things and how to do it. But I just wanted to kind of give them a paint booth set at moment of truth. One tip, if you are gonna paint them like this, um, pick it up out of there and then spray this inside first, right? So you don't have to like spray up into it and then set it in there. And then yeah, if you wanna move it around, you can just rotate this little cap. It's kinda cool. I got some, it says two light coats, but I put several pretty heavy coats and I kinda had a run going on the inside of it, but it, it like smoothed out, went away. Um, and one reason I'm really glad I did this so it didn't drip all over my damn garage because there were a couple of runs, but it seems like it's smooth and looking good. All right, so I wanted to give kind of a brief rundown. And this video camera doesn't really show the actual green. It makes it look more of kind of a light green teal. It's a dark, deep green. It looks really, really good. Like I said, it's not capturing it, but it is very shiny kind of a good gloss nice and smooth honestly looks just as good if not better than the factory so well the uh, little engineered solution that I had just I was sitting here and just snapped dang it maybe good idea to put uh, two of those in there <laughs> hopefully it didn't mess it up it's been curing for about 30 minutes so we'll see dang it kind of lightly dusted it a couple times. Just filled that hole almost perfectly. Didn't mess with the finish at all. So lucky. Wanted to, these have kind of dried for several hours and wanted to kind of give you a little idea of what that finish looks like. There's one little spot there, but this thing actually fell over and I had to touch it up and uh, can't even tell. And yeah, these, I mean, they're nice and glossy green. Really, really happy with it, the way they turned out, at least so far. We'll see what they look like. I'm gonna give them like a full day before I start messing with them. What they look like, but there's two 18 millimeter bolts. One threads directly in the tow hook, one passes through and has a nut on the end. Um, and you just basically can just use a ratchet uh, and crescent wrench is what I use to stop on the other side uh, with a cheater bar to break them loose. Um, that's really all that's needed. Uh, Please excuse the mess, but I pulled the Z71 logo, pulled the emblem off. All it is held together is these little tabs. So when you push these through, these tabs right on this inside pop through while there's a little glue holding them on. I saw a guy that just dremeled them and grinded them off. Oh, so I didn't do a beautiful job, but I'll get this all cleaned up. I'm taking the glue off. Yeah, you can separate this. And my goal is to paint this green and this black to match the color. All right, I got one 
sprayed. I just used, I'll show you what I use here in a second. I really like this color, but I couldn't find like a matte, so I used a gloss. Turned out fine. I think it'd be okay because the normal one's glossy. And then this flat, that's all I'm using here. I tried this other paint, it just didn't turn out the way I wanted, so I recoated it with that. Getting this stuff off is a pain, so what I'm using is goof off. What you do is you just spray it on there and let it soak in. And then just use, I'm using a shop rag, but use something clean and dry and then just rub it back and forth and it'll just kind of roll off. All right, so I use this stuff, mix it, mix it up real good, and then you just take a little toothpick, pick it up, and drop it down back in here to re-adhere these little clips. And be careful because it, it says one minute, it really starts setting up in a minute. All right, so what I ended up doing was taking this and grinding down any of the high spots, make sure that they're flat, cleaning it real well with rubbing alcohol, letting it dry, and then this is the tedious part, if any of you guys watching have ADD, cutting strips of this 3M tape. I got half inch. It'd probably be nicer to get quarter inch. That'd probably be better in hindsight, but cutting little strips and putting them together. What's up, boy? Thank you for all your help. Anyway, so I'm gonna let set this down and just let this adhere for like a full day. Just put something on top so make sure that it smashes on there real well. Then then later on peel off these old emblems, slap these things and on. And then cut little custom pieces. It's not the prettiest thing, but I think it'll work. All right, well, if you haven't done this part before, you just get some fishing line and get it up behind the emblem and just kind of saw it. Um, and then you get you this emblem remover wheel and then just run it along here very slowly be gentle because you can burn your paint um, but just, well, I was using that wheel and then I realized I could just peel it off it's that old cheapo uh, decal from Amazon but just get some rubbing alcohol get this all nice and cleaned up and get the surface prep we're gonna stick the new one on a uh, short tip see all these little pieces that I had to get it's a bunch of individual little ones best way to do it is to get like a little tiny screwdriver and kind of wedge it in between and peel that up it's just one thing to consider but we're ready to go let's do it all right so i got this separated out this is the z71 emblem i got another video kind of shows basically you just got to pop these two clips out and then there are that's what it looks like before very similar to the other one and then you I'm here, so all i do is dremel out these clips here all right so once you dremel out these clips there it basically looks like this and then this just pops right out so i'm gonna go black here and then i'll see what i can do with this all right got it out and all cleaned up got these separated so it's going to be black and i'm just going to green this one out so here's what goes behind the grill this is clips into the grill this clips into that the Z71 goes into the back here, and then this goes into the front of the Z71. So, there you go. It's green, we'll let it dry. There they are. Put them back together. I kind of wanted to do a just a black in the middle here in the green, but I kind of like the way that that turned out. Um, kind of pops a little more, which I'm okay, but basically all I gotta do is reassemble them and glue the tabs back together in the back with them. 